Hey everyone. So today you're going to see a, a side of agriculture that used to be really common in this area but isn't very common anymore. So we had an 80 acre field that we didn't plant anything in this year because we needed to do some erosion control on it. I did a cultivation pass with our field cultivator and now I'm going to go out and uh, what's called a rod weeder. And so when this area was predominantly dry farms, uh, th this was a very common way to farm. When I pulled the field cultivator into the into the yard here, I realized there was some bearings out on uh, what's known as a, a rolling harrow. And so it goes behind the cultivator. It kind of smooths and knocks down clods and levels, um, stuff like that. So I got to fix those bearings before I unhook off the tractor. And then I'll hook onto the, onto the rod weeder. And then I'll head out to the field and I'll, I'll show you guys and talk to you a little bit about uh, when this was a really common way to farm here and kind of the purposes behind that. So this is the drive shaft, comes off of this tire, and then it goes into this chain with a series of sprockets. And on the back side of this sprocket, down here, uh, that square rod goes through that bottom sprocket, which is, has a square bushing in it, and that's what turns the rod. And so there's three of those across this rod weeder. This rod goes underneath the roots of the weeds and it lifts those roots and turns them upside down and flips them up on, to on top of the surface. And so, so like I mentioned in the introduction, this used to be a lot more common way to farm around here, um, primarily before irrigation came around. So in the 1950s, 60s, and the 70s, you would have seen a lot of rod weeders around this part of Idaho. One of the reasons our family did it that way is my grandpa and my dad grew up growing a lot of winter wheat which is planted in September. So in order to preserve moisture through the summer, it would have been common to not have a crop grow on it that year and to preserve the moisture with something like a rod weeder. So one of the things about a rod weeder is it doesn't do a lot of invasive tillage. That rod just runs under the surface far enough to get under the roots to roll them up on top of the ground. And so that means you preserve the moisture as close to the surface as possible and there's not plants growing on that surface so there is moisture to plant your fall wheat into when the time comes in September after you've had a hot dry summer which is pretty common here with not a lot of rain. In their heyday a rod weeder really was a conservation uh, way to till and it kind of coincided well with a chisel plow which was kind of a less invasive, less a lot, left a lot more residue on the soil surface compared to a disc or a moldboard plow. So that was kind of a way that the farmers kind of changed to more conservation tillage, at least for they, their day and their technology. So a common rotation that you might find when this area was dry farmed uh, would be a third in spring wheat or spring barley, a third in fall wheat and a third in summer follow. So your ground would kind of be on a three-year rotation. And when pivots were brought into this area and a lot of it got irrigated, then this uh, technique, 
this way to farm was kind of um, put by the wayside because once irrigation got moved in then the crops were and the crop ground was continuously farmed year after year after year uh, we have some dry farm left that we don't irrigate and so I grew up learning how to do this and it's it's kind of cool you know there's not a lot of rod weeders around here anymore and we're kind of moving away from it now as well this might be one of the last years if not the last year that a rod weeder will run over our our ground so I thought it would be kind of cool just to talk about it a little bit and and show videos of it as much for for me to remember as it is to put on YouTube and to let others see it Eventually I'll get around to doing an equipment video and I'll show you the old grain drill that's from the early 1960s that we would use to plant a lot of our fall wheat. We've used that drill as recently as 2016. One of the reasons we haven't been growing uh, fall wheat is just that the soft white market's been so poor and that's the type of variety that we've been growing. And there are still a few pockets in the United States where you'll see rod weeders. Some of the really low rainfall areas in Washington, uh, rather than do a chemical fallow, they'll use a rod weeder throughout the summer. Uh, chemical fallow is kind of taken over for areas that do rest and leave ground and fallow. So that just means you leave your stubble standing and then you just spray um, chemicals on it throughout the summer to control the weeds. So that's kind of the more common way to do it now. There's a lot of areas that used to have a, th a, a rotation where they would use summer fallow where they are now continuously cropped. And one of the reasons that is is because pulse crops have become more common, especially like up in Montana. So they've added in peas or lentils or chickpeas into their rotations and those acres have kind of taken over what they used to fallow. So anyways, that's a little bit about how a rod weeder works and kind of the history on of our farm. So thanks for watching and please remember to like and subscribe.